Hey guys, what's up? Daniel here. So we're checking out the iPad Pro silicone case and also the iPad Pro smart cover. Now both of these guys are actually quite expensive. The case retails for 79 bucks and the smart cover retails for 59 bucks plus tax. You know, you're going to be spending like close to 150 on just these cases. And this is in the, the keyboard case. Let's go ahead and open these guys up, try them on the iPads in uh, all the colors, just see how they look. They come in this black and also in the white. This is more like gray though. So you only get two colors. You don't get all the color options that you get with the iPad Air 2, which is interesting. But uh, let's go ahead. I'm gonna go ahead and open both of these up and then I'll be right back. All right, so there we go. We open both of them up. Here we have it. We have this really nice felt inside, which uh, is a great material to kind of clean your screen and also keep your iPad scratch free, which is really nice. The silicone, it feels, you know, very solid, very nice. And uh, you know, it's nice that it doesn't really bend at this size. And it almost seems kind of like, you know, it sounds uh, like a binder or something. I don't know. We have the uh, little black bar here for, you know, the connection to go through on this guy. And uh, of course, all the holes for the speakers, the ports, a bunch of holes everywhere for that. So let's go ahead and put this guy on, see how that looks. This is the Space Gray iPad, of course. And as I mentioned, it comes in white. So ideally, I think you would get the white for these guys. But of course, if you want to mix and match, you would do that. So here's how it looks. Of course, it's gonna be a perfect fit. You got the openings there. And uh, that's how it looks here. The headphone jack, it seems like, I don't know, it's not really big enough to maybe let every single headphone jack in, but it'll work with your Apple earbuds and most headphone jacks. Here's of course the smart connector. This is where the keyboard would go or where the smart cover goes. So there you go. It fits perfectly like that and it's perfectly enclosed. So it's kind of like that really old uh, cover that they used to sell where it had both of them combined, but now they decided to just make it more expensive and split them into two separate ones, which is really interesting that they would do that because this is an expensive case, but I guess it's an expensive product, so why not get the case for it, right? So it just opens like so, and you can of course use it like that. If you're carrying a separate keyboard and you don't want the Apple keyboard, then this is perfect because you set it up like this, and then you got the keyboard ready to go right here from your bag. Or you can, of course, um, set it the other ways that you're, you're used to setting it. So like this for typing on the keyboard. So you're using it like this for typing, then it's gonna work fine for that. It's definitely a huge smart cover and a huge iPad and everything just looks huge. I mean, there's like, it just looks like they just took it and stretched it out. There's like no difference between this and the other one. So let's go ahead and put it on the other colors so you guys can see that. All right, so here's the smart cover. It sticks on like that. And then the case, we just put it on like so. Very easy to put on, nothing mysterious about this. And here is the gold iPad. Can't really see any gold through it, except of course in the ports here. But uh, let's go ahead and open it. And there you go, that's how it looks. You of course have Touch ID right here, which is the gold ring. And that's pretty much all the gold that's showing through, maybe a little bit here on the uh, chamfered edges. But aside from that, it's pretty much the white iPad when you put this case on it. So not the white iPad, but the silver one. So let's go ahead and put on the silver one last just to uh, check that one out. And uh, that pretty much will uh, settle this video. But uh, it's uh, I find it really interesting that they made these so expensive. I don't think this should be this expensive. Like this is really expensive for what it is. But let's go ahead and put on this and check it out how it looks. So it definitely feels nice. It's definitely a very solid case. It's quite annoying. And let's, there it is. Open it up. Of course it turns on every time you open it up because of the, mag the uh, magnets. So that's something that we've seen for the longest time. And there you go. So it feels good. It definitely doesn't feel too thick still. Still feels slim and uh, very easy to handle with one hand even though you got the case on it. Even nicer because you got that nice grip but uh, you are, of course, losing the design. There's nothing really peeking through of the color or anything like that. So, you know, it's up to you. And uh, of course, we'll see these pop up on Amazon or some like these for a much cheaper price sometime soon. So if you can wait, you know, you can get something similar for a cheaper price, but it might not be the same quality and, uh, you know, this really nice material right here. So that's something to keep in mind. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much it for this video. If you have any questions, feel free to comment down below or reach out to me on Twitter at rmrdnl or at dargadget, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can on there. So 
aside from that, you know, as always, thank you for watching this video and I will catch you in the next one. Goodbye.